Good morning. I'm going to start Timer Beats Orchestral Packs Sessions Round 4 right now. Um, setting the timer for 90 minutes. 1 hour 30 and we're off. I'm going to use, um, like I said, uh, sounds from the Ableton packs, uh, orchestral packs, that is. And the first thing I'm going to do is put a few sounds together. that for the intro i'm going to start with the cello section sounds from this is from orchestral strings which is an ableton pack if you can get on the the website okay key of c minor so i'm just gonna play in some stuff to the click, but I'll try to get rid of the click as soon as possible because it gets annoying. But just to get started, slow the tempo down so I can play better. That'll be the intro, and then this part.
like that cello solo sound. Maybe I'll do another channel of the same thing so that I don't confuse the MIDI. I just want to do work on a harmony for that. always try to play it in there first and then fix it. Hey, good morning. Thank you. 
Thank you.
and check it from the beginning and see how the progression feels. Because mm-hmm. sometimes something that I do is I work in these little sections and progress, and each one in its own little looping universe is cool on its own but then when i string it back together it doesn't feel like the progression makes sense or like it's lopsided or it doesn't it's not patient enough or it's too long or something <laughs> yeah in terms of just getting uh ableton for the first time and getting started just have fun in the beginning and just look around you know just do simple things that are f- amusing and try everything and don't try to understand the whole shebang right away because you know it's like the journey of a thousand steps you know or whatever it's like you got to break it down into little pieces and then it's going to be a piece of cake but if you kind of jump in expecting to like absorb the whole you know lifetime of multi-track you know the study of making music that's not going to happen like right away but it, it's a process but if you don't don't panic in the beginning just have some fun and watch stuff like this you know um get your feet wet um and then try some things that you see or hear hey good morning all right we're gonna listen back to this little piece i'm working on in c minor more layers right away it's kind of real thin so i'm gonna there's the strings for now i'm going to save as new version of this and if for any reason i crash i'll come back on um to complete the 90 minutes so check back in a few minutes i really hope that doesn't happen but it has so being realist um and i'm just reading the chat yeah you know it it, if you look at at music making as a lifetime continuum that's been a healthier uh approach for me in my life um because if it's like all about like attaining something and then like being there and that's it well then somehow that didn't do it for me you know like I've always felt like there was a lot more to learn. It's the everlasting learning curve. You know, it really is. And as soon as I feel like, oh, I got it all figured out, that's when I learn that I'm the stupidest. You know, that that's when I see hear something that really um, shows me that's a <laughs> ba- real basic way to, to, to look at what I'm doing or something. Um so it's just a always it's just always um growing and that's the coolest part too. Like every day I practice drums and piano and guitar and now it's getting the list is getting kinda of long, but it's for that little bit of improvement. It's it's such a rush. I get I, you know, I get off on that gradual improvement continuously and so far never ends, you know. And I hope I can live a long time to keep trying to improve every day, just a little, little bit, because I'm just totally like always like, you know, still working on it. All right. How about some woodwinds? I like 
that one. <laughs> it's like Peter and the Wolf. Here's an easy shortcut. Kind of feels like a cheat, but you just copy that. Why not? And then change it. Got the rhythms all set. I'm at the point now where I just like save as every time I like an idea, if something happens, I'm like, oh, that's good. Save. Like I wired that together because, because. back for a bird's eye view. All right, need something. So I know that I know what will work and I was hoping to like kind of hold the bass back for a while there's no reason to do that for arbitrarily and it just would one note on the one would make it feel like something happened motion going if I just do the sort of one five walk on the bass it always feels so cliche you know but it, it could tell it would just work yeah maybe it don't like 
do it as obvious as maybe it's more like that because then you'll hear the where it can really be yeah alright sometimes I'll fight with wanting the urge to want to do something that's really like against what's obvious like the not like look for something that's not obvious and fight the thing that's really obvious that would be like yeah this would this would totally structure the whole this would hold this whole thing down i still think maybe there's a better idea out there that's like something i've never thought about but sometimes doing that just for the sake of doing that isn't serving the music. All right, we need one thing right here. We see like I was like bling. Let's see something a little splash. Um See, it's just like one note. something one more thing that's like it's unfinished sentence but i don't want to necessarily use this instrument so let's see what we got we want to keep something new
I was trying to work on this later section, but then I dropped in one note over here where it, I feel like it does belong there. It's abrupt. There's something weird. Let me fix this. Oh. Yeah. There's like, th this is lopsided. Oh, good. I thought I was... Insert silence. Now it's a four measure long space and I can use there. <laughs> Honk. All right, time check. 53 minutes left on the clock. That's good. I like, cause I like where I'm at, and it's like f almost like 
50 seconds worth of music. All right, I'm going to roll it back because that's always a, my way of getting back into it and getting psyched to what's I can sort of feel what's next. <laughs> So when it goes to the change, it needs more, that didn't land as fully as it can now, I think. So I'm gonna set a marker where I'm, so I don't get confused visually where I'm at, but I wanna like use that nice walk up to this new thing and then have, what I think I have to do is expand that. Right, it doesn't go back. It goes one more time. Now this might make it, uh, this is when I sometimes get myself in a trouble because I'll make the arrangement lopsided and then it'll feel like it is when I zoom out and listen back like to the whole thing. But something about that was weird. <laughs> Yeah, and I can do something else in this. Okay. Like that. That's a first. So I crashed Twitch, but I think then I'm still recording. Weird, huh? Oh, but did it never stop? Okay, maybe you didn't notice that. Weird. Still live there. Cool. All right. Well, it's just weird on my end. Better than crashing and stuff, but hopefully I didn't just jinx anything. I'm just going to keep on moving. 50 minutes. And where was I? I was here. back so sorry but back at it and start the clock up and finish up for some reason 
This has become a normal intermission. I'm going to give it a listen to catch up to where I was, but I was adding B-flat clarinet stuff. sounded good looping I didn't even notice it loop back around so that maybe that repeats and then I could do more things with the whole the whole shebang there needs to be another thing doing that Kestrel, what are we doing? Oh yeah, orchestral something. I can never get away with using mallets. I'm gonna try again. I always fail at using them. Cloth hits and don't go for the rolls because I always that never ever works for me. So I want to like echo that little, it's just descending line, the clarinet line here, but not obviously corny right on top of it, but I want to like make it into an echo. That kind of a thing. Let me see if I can pull out. just works this last one. Yeah, something else then. I'm going to keep that little bit, those three notes or whatever it is, because I, I snuck them in there. They sound good to my ear. Uh, brass things, maybe. Let's see. So, Brass. 
Whoa. It's too... It's too much the people like riding on a horse over the hill with the flags and stuff. Something even smaller. Maybe I'll go with smaller woodwinds. Like way up there in the reason why we're not hearing anything is because there's no... It's a higher pitched instrument. So there wasn't a note down there. Whoa, that's corny. I can't. All right. Can't go with that piccolo. It's maybe something a little more darker or weirder, like... Yeah, maybe it doesn't have to. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it just doubles it. Something doubles that. It's always kind of amusing to me that it's just a different combo of instruments flips the whole thing. And it's subjective, of course. Maybe you don't agree with what I, my choice here, but it's just like the way the one one way feels versus another. The big thing is a bass. Is that what you mean, like those bass notes? Boom, boom. Oh, that, yeah, that's the marimba. This little bit. Yeah, it's like a wooden stick pitched thing, so it's a lot like a tongue drum for sure. Maybe, let's see. What could go with that? Um, oh, wait. some other let me go back into the what's missing here is like percussions orchestral percussion stuff but I know I've got some other uh, I could leap into some other libraries here there is oh look at this
Very true. Yeah, and, and, and that's one thing with my own arrangements that I could do more of is like taking away everything but one thing, you know, more often. And that's hard to do for me. Like I get so used to the stack, like the the big layered up thing. And then, but it's, if you reveal each thing in its own place, it's really interesting and it can kind of help you hear everything at once when you bring it back. But um, it's a challenge for me to do that. Like maybe that dum 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 stops or something. back to the little intro slide thing I'm gonna see if it'll sound okay looping back to the kind of this intro you know with the big figure starts yeah so I'm gonna go like that and then I can add and take away throughout this arrangement let's hear how it sounds as a thing going to bring in a little percussion from this big band essentials too huh. I think as soon as I bring in like little things like that I'm overly tempted to make a beat so I'm taking it away <laughs> yeah all, all of these to me sound like some soundtrack thing like Oompa Loompa adventure kind of thing like Lord of the Rings but not that music but like if there was some knockoff adventure show this would fit in with that and not by design like that's not what I'm trying to do but every time I do it it sounds like that's where it might go yeah right like washy percussion or like far away percussion sections from an orchestra where they're all hitting like some tambourine but from kind of far from the mic and it's not an emphasized problem with stuff that's samples that are like really up front or like they've already been really processed kind of like compressed and made loud so that they sound like modern is it's hard to bury those sounds in the 
kind of vibe um and get like here's something called cinematic percussion but that's probably going to be like really big boom boom you know kind of things um but uh yeah it's hard to get it to to sit in the mix but I, what i'm yeah what i want would be something like really kind of far away from the mic or i could mix it like that but it's hard to record it when it's really like a shake, 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 like right up in the face. Okay. There's second round. Let's do that. Let's bring in some more strings. All these just ensembles, that's what we'll do. Yeah, it's really fun, you're right. It's fun in so many different ways because I'm not that familiar with this sound palette from a writing standpoint, although I've heard music made with these sounds my whole life. These four sessions are kind of the first time I've deeply tried to layer stuff like, oh, that doesn't really go with that, but that really goes with that. You know, it's kind of like a experiment, but I'm, I feel like I'm getting the hang a little bit of it. A little bit. fully sloppily played I don't think it's close enough to the notes I can make no I should just replay it
<laughs> just to mix that better.
20 minutes left on the clock and I'm going to save and listen down to the whole thing and then add more to the top probably of this arrangement like over the, over this arrangement just fill it up a little bit more it's a short one but I like the progression and maybe in listening to it I can hear that it needs to stretch arrangement wise or something That's like a, let me see something here. up on on the demo on the cue here so the it's always really loud and kind of alarming but some of these sounds if you play them quieter it, it's it's more it fits in easier
All right, 10 minutes left on the clock. And I don't have to use them all. I mean, like this isn't finished by any stretch of the imagination, but sometimes just putting more stuff on something just because is, isn't the right reason. So I want to get more perspective. And sometimes there's like, there's two things at work when I'm writing music. Um, one is like kind of race against the clock of my enthusiasm as it drains out. So it's like, I'm excited. It's cool. I'm digging it. And then there's just a point where I'm like, oh, God, I'm not into this right now. And so I'm just trying to get something like really well documented before I hit that point. Um, and then, <laughs> and then, you know, that's one thing. And then the other thing though, is sometimes pushing myself to keep going because I know that maybe I won't be able to get back in the mood another time to work on that music so that it's probably best I push myself past that point of getting a little tired like we'll deal with it you know whatever push further um to get as much captured as humanly possible or get it done if if possible but in this case it feels like one of those things that would be good to give it some um you know, time and like come back in a couple of days and listen to it and then know which notes to kind of remove and where to like put an extra swell or this needs a little or whatever. And those type of details um, would be easy to put on the fresh, you know, kind of perspective of how like, oh, this is cool. So sometimes it's like I get working on stuff and I get down into it and I can't see the forest for the trees or whatever but um this this is a cool little piece it's only 15 different parts or instruments um do one more save i'm gonna listen to the whole thing without touching it and i'll kind of make some mental notes for what to work on um you know next time I open the project to finish it because now I've done four of these streams and there's I think I could do a little mini EP of these tunes if I push them further and really finish them up that's always a fun thing is to just put a frame around it as I like to say and put it on the wall and be like here you listen to it I'm done with that and move on to something else Here we go. From the top. with about five minutes to spare and only one full system crash (laughs) stream crash and one faux 
crash. All right. Thank you very much for hanging. I hope you have a great day. It's noon, so I'm going to go eat my lunch. And I uh, hope uh, to uh, see you back here. Thanks. <laughs>